Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another dumb edition of baseball. That's, I think, what we can call this series because the Minnesota Twins have been getting absolutely screwed by Major League Baseball. It is absolutely, it's insane. Like, I say these filler words because it's mind boggling what the Twins have been through in the last, I mean, this season in general, but mostly in the last, like, month. Uh, so, we're going to talk about it today in this video. I'll give you the situation. Rocco Baldelli was just ejected for the third or fourth time this year. Uh, honestly, I've kind of lost track at this point because it happens more so than it probably should. But it's not his fault either. I want to preface this by saying it's not his fault. He has to stand up for his players. And when MLB just continues to you know, garbage drop on the Twins, he gets the brunt of it. So this is the situation that's happening in the game tonight, August 23rd. About halfway through this game, by the way, so things could change. But right now, the Astros are throwing a no-hitter against the Twins. Uh, Justin Verlander's on the mound. And Aaron Sanchez was pitching for the Twins. Jose Altuve was in the box. They throw at him. Now, it didn't even look like he threw at him. I think Jose Altuve's kind of being a baby in this situation. Here's the thing. If you don't know, the Astros allegedly because that's what you have to say, allegedly cheated in the 2017 World Series, and Altuve might have wore a buzzer, again, allegedly, but he got thrown out a lot in the last couple of years, and maybe that's continuing right now. Aaron Sanchez throws at him. Throws at him. I, like I said, I don't think he really threw at him. It really didn't look like it was much. <laughs> I, it maybe grazed his leg. The dude is standing on top of the plate. I don't condone ever throwing at a player, but... It happens, and what I say is that you throw inside and you're going to be on top of him. So I don't think he was really throwing at him because um, if you are, you're going to throw at his back or you know or his head, and that's not okay, but uh, that's what you're going to do, not at his knee where he can bend it back. Anyway, regardless, Altuve's upset about it, and like I said, I think he was being a little bit of a baby in this incident because as a player who did cheat or allegedly cheated or has been thrown at before for cheating, you kind of have to know it's coming for the rest of your career, I would think. Again, if it was intentional, I don't think it was. But Altuve threw a fit, walking down to first base. It looked like Sanchez was just trying to explain things to him. Altuve didn't want to hear any of it. Dugouts clear, which is really... It was the most anticlimactic dugouts clearing. Basically... <laughs> They just walked out to each other, and uh, Altuve was just like, "No, no, 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 no! I'm gonna, I don't like what you did." And Correa went over and talked to him. This is where things get interesting. The situation that came from this is Rocco Baldelli and the pitching coach are out there because you know they're the bench is cleared. They're protecting their players. They're trying to calm the situation down, and all of a sudden you see a little two boop over there. A mound visit's called. That's one ridiculous. But two, how is that a mound visit? Anyway, this is what I'm talking about with garbage, just being dumped onto the Twins. Clearly, it wasn't a mound visit. Rocco Baldelli's out there. I mean, it involved the pitcher, right? As most base, or not bases clearing, but benches clearing do, is they involve a pitcher and a batter. So you're going to go calm your pitcher down. Since when has that ever been called a mound visit before? And why in this situation... Is MLB going to uphold that? Because it's not a mound visit. So anyway, uh, fast forward to the next batter. I think they walked Gurriel on four pitches. And here comes Rocco Baldelli to talk to his pitcher, Aaron Sanchez. And the umpires say, nope, you got to take him out. Because that's the rule in the MLB is if you have two mound visits in an inning, you have to pull the pitcher. So they were throwing a fit, the umpire, saying, you have to take out Sanchez. And that's clear that's the rule but it's stupid because it wasn't a mound visit that's the point but since the umpire wrote down his little thing in his book that they said it was a mound visit and Rocco Baldelli ends up getting tossed I mean even I'm like I said I'm listening to the Astros broadcast tonight and they were even with the twins on this saying yeah that shouldn't be a mound visit he shouldn't have to get pulled I mean Sanchez was at 75 pitches it's not like it was unreasonable to take him out at that time it looked like he was starting to struggle but regardless the fit that the umpires threw is the dumb part of this because clearly it wasn't intentional I think like that's 
isn't that a rule somewhere else where you have to make like an intentional turn towards second base if you're going to run to second? Because if you just like turn right or turn left, I guess in this case, it's not an attempt at second base, so you're not going to be out. It's the same thing. It's not an attempt at a mound visit if you're going out to calm your pitcher down or like de-escalate a fight. Like that's what I'm saying. So Rocco Bugelli goes out there. Nobody's warming up because they weren't going to pull him. And he throws a little temper tantrum because he has to. And he did a really good job of this to, you know, stall is really what he did. So that uh, it looks like Sands came into the game because they weren't ready. And that's just dumb. Like, there's so much garbage that has just been dumped onto the Twins. They are also getting no hit. I don't know if I said that in this video. They're in the sixth inning now getting no hit. So it's like, well... Maybe that was a fuel on the fire. And like I said, Rocco Baldelli has to front this stuff. Maybe he hypes his team up. They're only down by two. But just a dumb situation. And it didn't seem like... I mean, the umpires let it go for a long time. Maybe because they felt bad. I don't know. They made a dumb call. They couldn't... Rever I don't know. But, like, they let it go on for a long time before they finally ejected Baldelli. And then he just stayed around in the dugout for, like, another five minutes. So I don't... I don't know. Uh, but that's the first time. I'll just briefly run through the second time quick. If uh, you don't remember, a couple of weeks ago, the Twins were at home. I think they were playing the Blue Jays. I was at the game the night before, and it was a Sunday afternoon game. It was a play at the plate. Gary Sanchez uh, gets the ball from the left fielder. I can't remember who threw it, um, but it's a perfect throw. And the umpire said that he was blocking the plate. Sanchez was blocking the plate. They ruled, I think it was Whit Merrifield safe. And the Twins lost the game, basically, on that. Uh, I think that was in extra innings, too. Uh, so they gave up a run, lost the game. And it's just another one of those dumb things where, obviously, it's not intentionally screwing the Twins, but that's the result of it. And I feel like the MLB needs to be aware of that. And, like, the Twins are doing things the right way, right? You're de-escalating a fight. You are not blocking the plate. You're clearly allowing a lane. And the MLB is just doubling down on these bogus, arbitrary, subjective rules that, I mean, are rules, but like clearly they are not the intention or the execution of what the Twins are doing. So that is what really grinds my gears, and I'm sure grinds theirs too, because I'm just a fan. So... That's my take on the situations that have happened for the Twins. They've already had it bad enough where they are in the slump of the lifetime, and they suck. <laughs> they probably won't even make the playoffs at this rate. I think they're like two games back of the Guardians, and, I mean, they just keep losing. So they lost three to four. The Rangers are going to lose probably the series against the Astros. Nothing is going their way. And now they just get this stuff added on top of it. So... We'll see if the Twins get no hit tonight, but uh, they're playing Verlander, who's at 80 pitches, just about halfway through the sixth here. So good luck. Um, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, that's the game today. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.